The uh, coronavirus pandemic has highlighted many shortcomings in our communities around the country. That includes the need for uh, internet. That's right now, parts of Greene County that have long been without internet access will soon be connected. News 10 ABC's Juliana Bruno finds out how the county was able to get service providers on board to bring fiber internet to the mountains. Green County has three regions, the river towns, the valley towns, and the mountain towns. The mountain towns have very low density. There's lots of geographic issues. Um, it's the last mile. The last mile, that is, to be getting high-speed fiber internet. There are about 34,000 addresses in Green County. 6% are still unserved. That's a little over 2,000 addresses. And those are addresses that are at the very end of dirt roads, um, they're in between where power poles end. Um, it's been very difficult um, to access them and to get the financing deck in place where it made sense for the providers to be able to fund them. But a new partnership between the county and three internet service providers, including Mid-Hudson Cable in Catskill, will allow the capitalization of the fiber to go down that final stretch. The county will be contributing approximately $2.2 million, and the providers are not, you know, they're not doing this for free. They're also providing about $4 million themselves, because you got to think about they got to have poles, you got to have the fiber itself. It's been years of work and a big chunk of American Rescue Plan Act, or ARPA funds, that's going to make this map a real life work in progress. The streets in red now unserved, but not for much longer. My hope is that people can now understand that. I can continue to work from home. I don't have to go to the office maybe as much as I used to. This, n this new norm that we've created because of COVID, will it continue after the, uh, the emergency falls? Without fiber, you couldn't do it. County administration says this project will not take any taxpayer money. They expect the first construction window to start in 2023. Reporting in Greene County, Juliana Bruno, News 10, ABC.